Hey everyone, my name's Andrea. Welcome back to Temple's YouTube channel. This week I'm going to show you how to make some easy, dorm-friendly, microwavable meals. We will be making something for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. When I was a freshman, I lived in Whitehall. My roommate and I only had the micro fridge in our dorm, and I wish I utilized that more and did something like this, create a meal in a mug because they are pretty simple they're quick and easy to make and even if you wanted a late night snack you didn't have to go to the dining hall you could have just stuck everything in your refrigerator and used what you needed and popped everything in your mug put it in the microwave bam so there are some residence halls that have some sort of a kitchen a kitchenette like morgan like temple towers but if you don't live in those places here are some fun ways to feed yourself without wasting any food or spending too much money for french toast and mug you will need one to two slices of bread butter an egg milk cinnamon and vanilla extract the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your two slices of bread cube them up i'm going to rip them up because it's a lot easier now you are going to melt a tablespoon of butter and put it in your mug. I'm just gonna be using the same bowl to put in one egg, three tablespoons milk, a dash of cinnamon in there, and a drop of vanilla. And just pour all of this over the bread. We're gonna smush it in just a little so that the liquid can soak. Now we're gonna put this in the microwave starting with one minute, then adding 10 seconds each time to check if the egg is cooked. This is our final product. I'm going to try it, taste it, let you know what I think. If you want, you can add syrup in here, but I don't have that in my home right now, so we're just gonna eat it like this. I think it would taste better with syrup, just a little bit extra sugar. But other than that, I give it like a 7.5. I also didn't eat breakfast yet, so this is going to be finished. For the mac and cheese, you will need elbow macaroni, water, milk, salt, pepper, shredded cheese, and if you're into it, some chives to garnish it with. So for the mac and cheese, you're gonna take the elbow macaroni, some water and just a pinch of salt. Now we're gonna microwave this for two to three minutes. Now you're gonna add the milk, cheese, salt, and pepper. Then we're gonna microwave this again for another 30 seconds. I'm really excited for this one. Very creamy. I kept adding a lot of cheese to it because this mug's a little bit bigger. But add what you want, bacon bits, some other spices, different types of cheeses. Making it yourself, even in a microwave, gives you a lot more options than your traditional dorm room mac and cheese. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. definitely ranks higher than the French toast. I'd probably give this like an 8.5. I would totally make this even in my full kitchen. So for the next meal, we will be making spinach and feta mashed potatoes. What you'll need are potatoes, butter, garlic powder, salt, pepper, milk, spinach, and feta cheese. But we're gonna swap this and wash our potatoes and put them on a microwave safe plate. And we're going to prick the skin with a fork. Now we're gonna microwave this for five minutes. You can tell when the potatoes are ready when you are able to poke the potato and it's soft inside. So we're gonna let this cool for just a few minutes and then we're gonna cut them up into smaller pieces so that they are easier to mash up. So I decided with the amount of potatoes I'm using, I'm just going to use this bigger mug and transfer these potatoes into here. Now we're gonna add a little bit of butter and garlic powder, a dash of salt and pepper and a splash of milk. And we shall mash until everything is mixed together. Now we're gonna take some spinach and let the residual heat wilt it just a bit. Now we're gonna add Add some feta and keep on mixing. So I have my spinach and feta mashed potatoes. If you really wanted to, you could probably chop the spinach more finely. But now it is time to try it. Okay, that's pretty good. The feta tastes really nice with the potatoes. And the spinach just gives it a little bit more texture. I'm also giving this like an 8.5. But maybe if I just had syrup for the French toast, then I wouldn't change the game a little bit. This is actually my first time really doing the mug meals. And it was a lot of fun to make. It was very simple, very easy. If you're on the go and you have to go to class or if you're in between classes, it's really easy to make. And for those of you with a micro fridge in your dorm room, use a microwave and that's really all you need. Get your money's worth 
with that micro fridge and experiment with different foods that you can create just using a microwave. I know living in Whitehall, there is a communal kitchen on the first floor with a full stove top, oven, but I live on the third floor and I didn't really want to keep going back and forth if I felt like cooking something. What's great about these microwave mug meals is that they are per serving, you know, you really just need one mug and the meal that you want to create. If you're tired of dining hall food, if you ran out of meal swipes for the week, these are just some ideas that you can try in your dorm room that really don't require much. If you are interested in more microwave meals, there are plenty that you can find online. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all next week.